Today I went for a walk with the dog and my Carl Zeiss Yenna Tessar 50mm f3.5. This is known as a version 2. It was made in 1952 in M42 mount. Its optical construction is four elements in three groups and it has 14 aperture blades. This copy has two strikes against it. Strike number one, a bent filter ring, which means no polarizing filter today. Strike number two, this copy doesn't focus to infinity. It only focuses about 100 yards away, and then I have to stop it down to F22 and hope for the best. So this lens has two hard strikes against it, poor ergonomics, a clumsy preset aperture mechanism. I was ready to dismiss this lens entirely and get it off my camera as soon as possible. But when I got home and looked at the files, I was pleasantly surprised. The sharpness is incredible. This lens has the nickname Eagle's Eye and it totally deserves it. I've read some reviews online that are critical of the bokeh, but I don't think it's too bad. It's a little swirly, it's a little bubbly. I like it. So should you buy this lens? Yes, you should buy a Tessar and hope for the best because they're very old and there's good copies and bad copies. But the cool thing about Tessars, they made so many of them in so many different versions, you could start an entire collection of just Tessars. So while this copy isn't the best, it has turned me into a fan of the Tessar. I do have another Tessar, it's a later version F2.8 and I'm very much looking forward to trying that one. If you have a favorite Tessar, let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.